Welcome to the homestead, welcome to our garden. Today we're talking about how to prune cucumbers. And I'm gonna give you four tips for growing more cukes this growing season. Let's go. Our cucumbers are just starting to put on some good growth. So this is the perfect time to talk to you and show you some pruning techniques and some trellising techniques to help your cucumbers produce as much as possible. So there's actually a big question out there, to prune or not to prune? And we take a balanced approach. Most videos out there will tell you to prune all the suckers off of your cucumber plants, but that's not the best approach. More about that in a minute, but let's talk about the types of cucumber plants. Just like tomatoes, you have determinate and indeterminate cucumber plants. The bush style of cucumber does not need to be pruned at all, as it is determinate and not an indeterminate type. It will not vine, it just stays in one low bush. Some of those varieties are bush pickle, bush champion, fanfare, and potluck. Indeterminate varieties like these straight eights and these munchers need to be pruned in a specific way. Before I talk about the pruning techniques and trellising techniques to get more fruit, we need to talk about the parts of the cucumber plant. So right here, we've got a main stem and this continues on in certain directions. So for the straight eight cucumber, this is the main stem right here. You can see at this node, we've had some other growth. And off of this growth is this sucker that has come off the side. So at each node, you're gonna have four to five growth points. This one right here is your branch leaf or sun leaf. You have sometimes two different flowers, either males or females. You've got a tendril, which grabs on and helps the plant to climb. And then right here in the center, is the start of what's called a sucker. And this will create another whole branch that will come off just like this one down here. Now, when I take a balanced approach to pruning, what I do is I keep the bottom two and a half feet clear of all those suckers. Once it reaches about up to this point right here, I let them grow out. I'm doing that for several different reasons. Diseases for cucumber plants usually come from the ground. Sometimes they do come from insects like the cucumber beetle. But if we can keep most of the foliage off the ground and in the air like this, we get a better airflow through the plant and around the plant. What that's going to do is dry the moisture off the leaves quicker and prevent diseases. There are a lot of accounts of farmers out there that have noticed no difference at all if they prune or if they don't prune. But their advice was consistent in keeping whatever you can off the ground, so trellising up the cucumbers. And combining the methods is the most effective way to keep disease off these plants. Now in the south, we struggle with a lot of diseases because we are in a very humid and moist climate. This is, I believe, anthracnose, and it usually affects my plants. You can see it's starting to affect it a lot. So I do need to clear this out really quickly, even though this plant is very young. We need to get this cleared out and off the ground and up onto the trellis. Some I've trained up already. And this will also help with powdery mildew, which we have a big problem with here in the south. And as a reminder for everybody, we are in East Texas in zone 8B. Let's look again at that growth. We've got a node here and a node here. And in this node, you can see this sucker is coming right up off the top. It kind of looks like a flower, but it's not. These two are flowers down here on this node. You've got your tendril and your branch leaf. Over here, we've got our branch leaf here and our tendril behind it. We wanna take this off. Sometimes it's hard to tell. So you can wait a little bit until this grows out, but don't let it go too long. So you saw me earlier pinch off that tiny little sucker. And that is really easy to do if you make it to the plant in time. Sometimes though, you need to take a bigger sucker off that's already created its own branch, like this one right here. Now I know this is going to be painful and you think that it's gonna produce less fruit, but in the end, it's going to be really good to do this. And just like the other side, I know it's painful, but we are gonna snip off that sucker that's already made a huge branch. The other thing that I'm going to do to help mitigate disease is clip off these lower leaves right here. These are old leaves, and by clipping them off, we're gonna reduce that ability for the disease to jump up into the plant. 
Here's a perfect example right here. This one is a really strong sucker coming off the side here. It's already got some foliage developing at, at the end of it. There are tendrils behind it. Our branch leaf is right here and we've got flowers over on this side. So we're gonna clip this right off. Now, some of these plants were already starting to crisscross through each other and grow in different directions. And this one was all the way over on the other side. So I've pulled it back and I've actually broken the tendrils where it connected to the wire into the other plant over there. I've pulled it back here. And what I'm gonna do is just weave it through our cattle panel here. And I found that our cattle panel arch is the best way to trellis these cucumbers. It works incredibly well and it's super simple to do. Once I've gotten that up there, before these tendrils can grab on, I'm just going to take this tomato clip and clip it onto our plant. And that's going to hold it up into the position that I want it to grow in the area that I want to grow it. So if you want to trellis these up and you don't have any of those tomato clips that I showed you, then you can just take your tendril and physically wrap it around each piece of wire. It's fairly easy to do that and combined with weaving it through the wire, the cucumber is going to be nice and strongly attached to your trellis. Now we have our main stem for this muncher cucumber that I wanted in this position over here. Uh, you can see at the bottom, I have one more sucker off this plant to take off. And then at the bottom, a few more of those branch leaves to take off so the disease doesn't get up on the plant. And right where I took off one of those branch leaves, there's another sucker and I'm just gonna pinch that one off. We've done our duty down at the bottom and we're gonna let it fruit out and grow out as much as we can at the top. Now there's one more reason that you wanna prune that bottom two and a half to three feet of your cucumber plants and not let them sit on the ground. And that's because under here, you can get some mature cucumbers that form that you miss, that you don't see because of all the foliage that's covering them. And what happens if you get a mature cucumber that goes to that yellow and potentially orange color underneath and you've missed it, what that cucumber does is tell the plant that it's time to stop growing because it's produced those seeds which will go on for the next generation of plant. And all these plants want to do is propagate and continue their life cycle. So that one bottom cucumber is gonna tell the plant, we're done. And it will stop or severely slow down the growth of new cucumbers up on the top of the plant. So make sure you don't miss those old nasty cucumbers underneath. So if you're worried about pruning too much, then just take it step by step. I usually prune about 25% of the plant when it's this low. And cucumbers grow really quickly. So four to five days later, you could have a lot more growth on your plant. And you can take short steps like that to get the plant healthy and in the stage that you want it. Now, if you do start to encounter a disease problem on your cucumbers before you can start to really get them up on that trellis and away from that soil, is spray them with a copper sulfate solution. That's what we do. And if you're interested in any of the products or the tools that we use in our garden, we have them listed below the video in the description. We hope those tips were helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me below in the comment section. Now go click on this video right here, which shows you exactly how to harvest sunflowers. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.